Maryland Senator Ben Cardin was the guest speaker at Friday's Fort Meade Garrison Change of Command Ceremony. Much more in just a moment. Also this week, vets get parking spots at the mall, Cryptologic Museum's 25th, and National Night Out is just around the corner. These stories and more, but first, the United States Army Garrison, Fort George G. Meade, has a new commander. Colonel Tom Rickard relinquished command to Colonel Eric Sprague in ceremonies at Club Meade on Friday. Guest speaker Maryland Senator Ben Cardin described the challenges of being commander on a post with 60,000 people and 119 different organizations. It's not easy to be able to stand up to all of the important leadership that's on this campus. Many, of course, who outrank you, but you've got to tell them the facts of what they can do and what they can't do as, as far as their facilities are concerned. Uh, that's a tough political assignment. In his farewell, Colonel Rickard closed by thanking the entire Garrison staff. Thank you for your professionalism, your patience, your passion to support this post. Uh, most people will never understand the challenges of your duties or fully respect how amazing you are, but I do. You have my eternal appreciation and deepest respect. You run this town every day and nobody does it better. Please join me in a round of applause for your professional Garrison workforce. Colonel Sprague also addressed the Garrison team in his opening remarks. To the Garrison team, I'm both humbled and honored to lead such a diverse and exceptional pool of service members and civilian corps professionals. It is through your combined efforts and the continued support from our regional partners that our nation maintains a decisive advantage in the intelligence, information, and cyber domains. In a related story, MeTV had a chance to sit down with the new Garrison commander. He talked about the challenges ahead. Nervous, anxious about it. Yes, if I'm, if I'm being honest, um, because I don't know what I don't know. Uh, this is Garrison. Uh, my comfort zone will be in a military intelligence type unit. Uh, that's something I know. Um, with, regardless of the flavor of military intelligence, I would be a little bit more comfortable there. This, I'm not necessarily dealing with soldiers. Um, I'm dealing with the Army Civilian Corps professionals. I'm dealing with sister services. I'm dealing with family members, retirees, community leaders. Um, so it's going to be different, but I look forward to the challenge. We'll post the interview in its entirety on our YouTube channel later this week. Stay tuned. Meanwhile, in other local news, the Arundel Mills Mall is now offering designated veteran parking spaces. The spaces were dedicated in ceremonies last week at Arundel Mills Mall. And this is why we're here. As of today, there will be at least one parking space for our veterans at every entrance to the shopping center. Um, we have uh, seven main entrances, so we're happy to, to provide uh, these spaces and hopefully they'll get used. Elsewhere, the National Cryptologic Museum, located adjacent to the NSA campus, is celebrating its 25th anniversary on Saturday, August 18th. We're so happy that in celebrating our 25th anniversary, uh, we're having a series of events to try to bring people here and enlighten them more about the impact of cryptology. Uh, we're having a party on August 18th uh, for the museum and we're having some movie screenings uh, later the same evening. Uh, we're having uh, uh, events both across the street at NSA headquarters and here in the museum, uh, such as uh, speakers from the FBI are going to talk about uh, how uh, they work to break codes and, and, and encryptions to capture actual criminals. And they'll talk about how they did that. Uh, we're trying to get um, speakers uh, from the cyber community to talk about the, the evolution of cyber over the last 25 years to show you where we began and where we are today. The birthday celebration is free and open to the public, but if you want one of the two screenings of Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, you'll have to go to event eventbrite.com and get tickets. One more reminder this week, if you're catching the show before Tuesday, August 7th, you still have a chance to join us for one of the biggest community-wide events of the year. It's National Night Out. It's an annual opportunity for the community to come out and learn about local police and fire protection programs. Emergency service units from all over the area will be on hand. Free refreshments courtesy of Corvius and much more. The parade through base housing starts at 5 with the main event starting at 6 on McLaughlin Parade Field. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a fantastic Mead Week.